switch on. Oh, it's the uh, Friday before Christmas, so we've got that's five, six days till Christmas. Now I'm thinking about it, the best bit about Christmas, or the best thing about winter, is when you get it snowing. Uh, yeah, that really makes the winter, doesn't it, when you get snow. Um, because, you, you know, you go sledging, lots of photo opportunities, um, that is the best part about winter. Every season has its good points. I mean, the uh, contrasts you get in winter, they are fantastic. The bright skies. One of my happiest memories was when, I think it was Boxing Day, and my aunt had somehow got this huge toboggan it wasn't just a normal size one, it was like a double one. I think it was made of bamboo. And we went up the memorial field and we went tobogganing, me and my brothers, down the slope. And that was great. I mean, there is quite a lot of pressure at Christmas to get everything exactly right. And there's also the feeling that you, you can never get it exactly right. So I've, I have the temptation sort of not to try at all and try to make things um, wrong and then see what people, how people react. You know, sort of like it or lump it. And generally people are very, um, you know, not forgiving, but they're very open to whatever you do at Christmas. I mean, my sister-in-law, she's gone absolutely crazy about my homemade wines. And she said that was the best part of Christmas last year. Um, I took a bottle of homemade wine. And I can't remember what type it was, but this year we've got, I've got about uh, eight gallons of blackberry wine and about uh, well, quite a few bottles of strawberry wine left. I've also got some tomato wine, um, which makes you... Uh, makes you gasp it's so sharp um, it's quite nice as a sort of aperitif you know like um, before a meal you know people I mean I never drink tomato juice as a a drink but if you like tomato juice you'll like this tomato wine So something like tomato wine is a bit of a novelty. And Christmas is about novelty really, isn't it? You know, you try out different things. Cherry brandy, um, crackers with novelties in. If you spend a lot of money, you might get some uh, rather fancy novelties. Um, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? A bit of novelty, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke get the old magic tricks out or whatever there's quite a lot of pressure at Christmas to get the maximum amount of pleasure and to sort of feel if you don't get or give a great deal of pleasure you've failed and we had a lad staying with us once 
And when it came to Christmas morning, he went crazy. Where's my presents? Let me at them, let me at them, let me at them. You know, the presents were going to, were going to be his fix. You know, it, it, I think he'd been spoiled all his life. And that's when he felt really himself, when he was being spoiled. And he just couldn't wait for these presents. And I don't think they really fulfilled. Um, I think generally speaking, they get smashed up pretty quick when you're like that. Uh, I think there's going to be quite a lot of people who are disappointed uh, this Christmas though. You know, quite a lot of children, you know, because sort of tech seems very expensive, doesn't it? Like an iPhone 6, is it about £500? You know, a child sets, sets his heart on an iPhone 6 and then he gets an iPhone, an iPhone 5. Uh, no, that won't quite fix it. No, that won't quite do it. I need an iPhone 6. Um, some of the tech has got so expensive and say you've got three children and they all want £500 presents it's a lot of money isn't it I bring you glad tidings and great joy and goodwill to all men